What's up, everybody? It is Halion. I am back with an interesting game here we got called Vampire Survivors. It kind of works like it uh, looks like it's using Microsoft Word art or something for the title. But looks can be deceiving because this is actually a pretty in-depth game and some other channels have covered it, I know. And I gave it a shot. It's three bucks on Steam. It's early access, so I guess they plan to add more and stuff like that. No music at the startup here, but uh, let me just... Uh, Take a peek and show you guys what it's all about real quick here. So they got a bunch of different characters. There are, uh, it's a roguelite, I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> roguelite bull hell. Here's all the power-ups. I won't get too far into it. Let's just show you what the gameplay is like. And there's a few different playable characters. We're going to start with Antonio Belpez, uh, whatever that means. It's definitely kind of uh, Castlevania-y with a lot of the themes and stuff like that. But let me just show you and we can talk about it as we go here. And so everything else is automated. Let me get rid of my mouse here. Forgive the black borders. The game's just a odd aspect for some reason. And yeah, I can't, I can't really aim the attack here. The whip attack, which is the default. We're, we're going to start out really slow, as you can see here. The whip just goes wherever I'm facing when it comes out. It's timed. I, all you need to do is use a joystick or a mouse or a keyboard. You don't need to actually press any buttons. Uh, well, there might be one instance. You do want to collect these rubies. The blue bar at the top is your your level ups here. Now, it's a it's kind of a simple game, but what's fun are the choices as as we get right here. All right. So here's what we got the choices to do here. So we can upgrade our whip to fire an extra projectile. Uh, King Bible orbits around the character, so that's like another projectile. Axe is another projectile. I don't know. I'm gonna do whip. So I played this game for like. 10 minutes before I showed this video and I can already tell like oh this is goofy this is goofy fun now the only downside is you know that I don't think there's a way to actually speed up the game so each run will last uh you know a while I would guess or something like that so now the whip it strikes on left and right for us pick up these rubies so I, I really don't know much of anything about the game I haven't seen I haven't watched anyone else play it I played it for 10 minutes Oh yeah, this blue bat drops like a treasure chest, I think. Garlic damages nearby enemies. Magic wand fires at nearest enemy. Shields from damage when active. Let's try uh, Let's try the garlic. I don't think I got it in the one other run I did, so. Throw some garlic down. We're clearly a Belmont here, right? Trying to kill this blue bat here. Because I think you get something from that. Oh, so the garlic has this very narrow AoE field, it looks. Come on, kill the bat! How much health can it have? Well, all I got was a red ruby. All right, attract an orb. Character pick up. Character picks up. I character pickups items from further away. That's actually not as bad as it sounds. Probably. Pichon, peach one. Piacone, whatever it is. Bombards in a circling zone. Base area up by forty percent. Base damage up by two. Huh, the, the, the air, I'm gonna go with garlic here because it sounds kind of fun and different, but the, the attract orb is actually not as bad as it looks, I would say. Ooh, maybe we'll just go big garlic or something like that. There's actually a shocking number of different upgrades, it looks. And then you got the different playable characters, which I haven't tried at all. Candelabra augments area of attacks by 10%. Augments area, so it means that increases the garlic by 10%, I think is what it's getting at here. Let's do it. More garlic. I think the coins are the meta currency. You can see in the top right that the coins, uh, the coins that we've collected this run, and that's what we can use to get some of the permanent unlocks, including unlocking new characters. You can see the in the top left what things we've unlocked for the run. Oh boy, a lot of bats. And yeah, I mean this is the game, and it it's it was kind of when I turned it on, it's just like really this is the game, especially when I looked to the store page. Because again, like the, the title, the actual working title here, it just leads me to believe it's like one of those bad straight to video horror movies or something. Let me see here. Bombards in a circling zone. Let me try this. Peach one. So it's like a bird. You go, bird. Doesn't seem that bad, huh? The garlic is doing a lot right now. So it means I can actually kind of push forward. Normally I got to keep like running away. Hollow Heart augments max health by 10%. So I guess it means uh, increases max health by 10%. But we're going for the Candelabra. More garlic all the time. 
Now, if you don't have enough damage, I'm pretty sure we're just going to get bonked later on. Uh, so that could be a problem for us. But we're sitting pretty right now. That's okay. I kind of just wanted to show the game. I don't want it to necessarily... It doesn't need to last for an hour or anything like that, you know? I mean, for three bucks, it's more than a bargain because I can already tell that I could waste hours on this pretty easily with all the different choices and stuff. Well, let me see. Raises inflicted damage by 10%. I could end up level up the whip again armor i mean this helps uh the garlic technically right so yeah let's go hello garlic kill this blue bat for me please please uh trying to kill the blue bat these skeletons are coming now oh man i may not have as much damage as i think maybe if i keep a uh... Like, making it go in and out of the zone. Characters gain 7% more experience. Generates... And then we got, like, two... Huh, and then we got, like, two other weapons. I've seen so... There's so many different upgrades. I'm actually shocked at how many different ones there are here. Fires a random enemy. Deals heavy damage. All in on the garlic. Here we go. I'm going for the experience so we can get more garlic upgrades. Look at this. I've, I've played the game for half an hour, not even. And I'm already trying to get a meme run going here. It's fine. Can I just say, though, I don't know if I've ever put too much garlic in a dish. Aha! Cooldown reduced by 0.1 seconds to base damage up by one. Yes, please. What cooldown? Like, I just see this big circle around me. I don't know even know what the cooldown is. There we go, there we go. More garlic. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever had too much garlic in something. I One one mistake I did make many years ago, I'll say, though. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a big garlic. Uh, one mistake I did make a long time ago was I didn't chop the garlic very well because I was in a rush. I was making, like, a pasta salad. And so I think I just left, like, entire cloves of garlic in there. But it's practically unchopped or way too roughly chopped at the least. And so I took, I remember my first forkful, I was actually on like a little picnic date or something like that. My my first forkful, I realized my mistake because I ate an entire clove of garlic in that uh, first fork. So it didn't really work out for that pasta salad and I was ashamed of my shelf. My shelf. I'm gonna get the spinach because that's more garlic energy. Just let me keep working on the garlic here, please. Let's get the money, beautiful. I like the idea of being able to earn more experience. Hmm. I guess this makes sense. I'm, I'm looking at the aspect ratio because it's weird for this game. And I'm thinking like, oh, they're probably going to make it a mobile game, right? It makes sense. I'm less upset about mobile games now than I used to be when I was younger. Reduces weapon cooldowns by 8%. I guess that would help the garlic. I mean, it, it claims to have a cooldown. Ah, uh, here comes like a little flower thing. I think you just avoid. I think you just survive in this circle or something that they've created around us for a little while and you'll be fine. I think that's all you got to do. Can't really say for certain though. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I feel like our damage is starting to fall apart a little bit. Fires one more projectile, base area up by 20%. Maybe it's good to just kind of focus. It is good to focus on just a few different types of projectiles instead of trying to get like every single one. I'm not sure yet. You can find health. That's not that big of an issue. Hmm. Yeah, but now I'm not killing anything. It feels. This, uh, this is less than stellar, I'd say. I also haven't earned many coins either. All right, I have the I have the level two whip. I almost forgot. It still feels like the whip is doing most of the work actually now, which is a bit disappointing. All right, I guess green rubies probably give you a bit more experience. Let's grab this coin, I guess. Let's see what's in these lanterns. I guess lanterns they tend to have coins. They might have health, some other things. There's some health. I guess I'll pick it up. I wasn't that low, but oh, I didn't want to get that one. Okay, come on, let's kill some stuff. My levels are suddenly going much more slowly now. 
my garlic build might not be working out. I guess I was wrong. You can't have too much garlic. It's okay. It was a proof of concept, you know? I need like a lot more base damage on the garlic, I would guess. Maybe if I just kind of very slowly... It's good against a lot of small enemies. But it just turns out there's a lot of enemies all the time. Big or small, it would seem. Alright, we got a blue bat here. I thought they dropped like treasure, but... That's not happening. Can I kill these wet bats that are incoming without having to move out of the way? Oh my god. I think I kind of just messed up. I can kind of just kill them. There's health in there, but it's pretty far in there. Okay, this is fine. I don't know what the bird's doing really for us. The bird might be for the birds. Okay, watch out. It's fine. Pick that up, sure. Didn't get a lot of meta currency either right yet. Where'd that health go? <laughs> we'll find some more in here, please. Coin, coin. Give me some health. Oh boy. I got distracted by that blue bat trying to get it killed. These zombies or whatever they are. Pretty rough. Okay, there's a health. Okay, finally got a level up. Ugh. Base area up? I think I need some... We gotta get some damage going here. But at the same time, I kind of feel like I've invested so much into the garlic. Okay, I'm going all in. It's fine. We'll make it work. All right, definitely pick this up before I mess up. We can try to find some more. I guess we just go destroy some torches and stuff. Give me the rubles. All right, I see another blue bat over in the mess. Okay, can I take this on? Kind of? The thing is, the bats, like, push enemies toward you, potentially, so it's, it's a little scary. That's probably what happened last time. God, the garlic just does not trigger very quickly at all. Is the problem. It needs to trigger significantly faster. So the permanent upgrades do uh, help with that. You can get just straight up more damage. You can get uh, things trigger more quickly. Things last longer, etc., etc. It's definitely a lot of permanent upgrades. Oh no! Oh, I thought I, I thought I got myself killed. Okay, everything's fine. I do need some more health. Uh oh. Okay, okay, okay. Crown level two. I I I need something else. I know I gave I gave up on the garlic dream too fast. Maybe I don't know. That didn't feel that fast. Okay, I want that, please. Uh, it's gonna be tough to get in there. There's another glowing bat right here. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. We're fine. So the axe is just another projectile that gets like thrown into the air. Damages enemies and stuff. I think there's actually two chests over there. I really need those very, very badly. You just gotta get the enemies away. I hope they don't despawn if I'm too far away, but at the same time, they probably do. Okay, we're fine. Alright, so this is where I don't really understand. It's basically like playing the slot machine now. So I got 60 coins, I think, and a whip. I think that's what it's indicating. And it's just totally random. It would appear. Again! It definitely feels like uh, one of those mobile slot machine games in these moments. An axe upgrade. Where's the garlic? It's fine. Fires one more projectile. It's okay. And here's another bat. We needed something to pad the garlic, you know. The flavor wasn't totally there. Uh-oh. Oof. Everything got pushed toward me. I know I'm leaving a lot of XP down there. Okay, here we go. Give it to me, baby. There's another glowy bat. No garlic, huh? I feel a little bit stronger now, so maybe I'm okay to take a crown. A little bit stronger. Oh, here come, uh, it's like a boss fight or something. I don't know. Kill this bat, please. Kill it faster, please. For the love of Christmas, please. Uh-oh. All right, all right, we're fine, we're fine. I don't know if I'm just supposed to survive with the plants here or if I'm meant to be killing... Like, there's that giant praying mantis. So maybe I'm supposed to be killing that. Or maybe it's just sort of timed. 
You can actually sneak out of the plants, too. Oh, only if enemies kind of push them out of the way, though. Looks like I'm going to have to try to do that here. No! And then we took our dive. Well, it was an attempt. 15 minutes. Or, well, that's how long the recording was. I only survived for 10 minutes of 41. I think I went longer the first time. Garlic was probably a mistake uh, as much as I put on it. It was an okay for the first, like, two minutes, and then it was terrible after that. But all right, I mean, I'm probably going to show more because this is interesting. It's kind of too bad that you start from scratch and you have to, uh, you know, kind of farm the first part of the run very quickly again. But still, it's actually shockingly fun for $3 on Steam. Check it out. I might make a couple more videos depending what y'all think about the game. Let me know in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the deal. All right, have a wonderful night. I'll see you later. Bye. Hey YouTube, make sure you come visit my Twitch streams for all the best cursed content ever at twitch.tv slash every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday starting at 12 p.m. EDT.